One of my favorite aspects of Game Ubaka is in being able to highlight obscure arcade games, and my last couple of trips to BashCon has allowed me to do that with Konami's Skoto. In its rare appearances in the United States, it usually goes ignored until people see it in action. To compare it to something more intimately familiar in the States, you could loosely say that it has a beer pong premise. While the fundamentals are different, it shares tossing and bouncing ping pong balls into a target. The Skoto machine features six pads that can be used to bounce the balls into a large funnel. The major attraction at events is the game's time attack mode, which gives the player four 30 second rounds to get as many balls into the funnel as possible. The only caveat that the game keeps track of is that every toss must first bounce off the large, white play area directly in front of the player. In talking with one of the operators of the events machine, I was told Konami produced Skoto in a quantity of something like only 500 cabinets, making it a rare occurrence to come across one, especially so in the United States. In the US, you're probably only going to see a Skoto cabinet from an arcade vendor that exhibits machines at a gaming or anime convention. Even in Japan, Skoto seemingly only saw a short burst of support from Konami, with an official promotional video released December 16th, 2014, which is my best guess as to when Konami launched the game. A few more videos trickled out that gave players access to the tutorial and hint videos featured in the game, but through the game's official webpage in Japan, it seems Konami was already done officially promoting the game by the end of February 2015. During the time of its release, information I could find on the game was very brief and short-lived. Seemingly the game had already dropped off the face of the earth, but it saw a very small resurgence in interest thanks to YouTube videos produced in 2018 and 2019. If you search the game out online, the items you will find will be from the game being shown at events as opposed to being featured in an arcade or game center. This was definitely the case for me as the first time I was made aware of the game was in 2020 at that year's BashCon, which was held before the pandemic began. The machine caught my interest quickly, and it was one of the highlights of the event report that I did on Game Ubaka. While Skoto is summed up by getting the ball into the funnel, it offers three different game modes that switch up the player's goals. The time attack mode allows players to compete for personal bests, compare scores with friends, and go for scores on the high score table. There is also a mission mode that has players selecting a difficulty, and then they must meet certain scores within a time frame to continue on. Lastly, there is also a level up skill shot mode that requires the player to bank shots off specific pads in order before reaching the tunnel. The skill shot mode is tough, but also very rewarding. Since the pads light up as they are hit, it's also a very vibrant mode that looks very appealing. As I've said though, you'll see most people having a go at the time attack mode as it demands the least out of the player. There's a lot of strategy even in the time attack mode as the game's tutorial suggests different techniques. The videos show off a shotgun technique where players throw two or more balls at the same time to at least double up their output, or a more common machine gun technique where players alternate between their left and right hands in a continuous motion to increase the frequency at which they throw. Players have also infamously been known to cheat the system by having other people continuously tap on the bounce pad, tricking the game into thinking multiple throws have been accurately made. This allows someone to scoop up large quantities of the game's balls and lob them straight into the funnel for points. Through a few events, Skoto has quickly become one of my favorite arcade games to play whenever I get a chance. It's simple and easy to understand, but it's also very addictive in perfecting your muscle memory and going for high scores. Since the entry barrier isn't very high, it's also something you'll likely be able to get your friends to play, which always makes gaming experiences even better. Since there is so little information about the game online, I just thought I would make this video to increase the awareness about the game before it fades away.